Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship. So moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom loving Aquarian. So yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome to this week ahead's astrology, and we're going to look at what's going on the week of June 6th. Yeah, we'll see what randomly comes out. We're going to start off with my topics deck. Got a lot of cards here. A lot of juicy, spicy things we can talk about. Oh my gosh, we'll see what comes out. But we'll see. Yeah, I've had a lot going on. So I've not been plugged in very well with the news, with Twitter as usual, because I've had so many things going on in my personal life. So some of y'all might need to help in the uh, comments down below. CBDCs, that's already out on the table. And, you know, that's central banking digital currencies. And we've been talking about that a lot. There's been a lot of volatility in the crypto market. So we could be hearing more about that in the week ahead. And employees has come out now. So, you know, last week I was talking about the hiring freezes and layoffs that have been going on particularly that one jumped oh oh we can, particularly in the high tech industry and also any industry that is being impacted by inflation causing people to buy less like say walmart and target okay we've got taiwan oh 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 i do know about this oh canada and true don't true don't <laughs> don't do it don't do it China and Taiwan and um, indoctrinated. We have, I think this is a pretty good little mix to go with. All right. And the sun is at the foundation. So that has a lot to do with the government, the energy sector, solar power. I think we're going to be hearing more about that. But okay, very interesting that out on the table, you know, we've got Canada and Trudeau, which I think it's safe to say those two go together. Although I'm sure that Canadians would beg to differ. Yes. And um, China and Taiwan, yes, we've been hearing a lot about um, possibly war drumming up over there. And I got to say, looking at the astrology, buckle up, people, because the astrology is foretelling a lot of warfare in the coming years. This is not going to just get resolved with Russia and Ukraine over the next year or so, okay? It is very likely 
that we're going to see it all over the globe, again, given the collective astrology over the next several years. And then what's happening with Canada and true don't, true don't. Um, honestly, I've done readings in the past which have indicated a lot of the battle is going to go on in a legal realm, within a legal system, because they've slowly been getting a stripping away of their rights. And I think that the people who are out there, the remnant, okay, they're aware of what's going on and they are trying to fight it. Obviously, the government is the main, whether we're talking about China, Taiwan, Canada, or where I'm at, the United States, or wherever you are in the world, government is a big uh, prevailing energy here. It's an overarching energy. You know, in tarot, that sun card trumps everything, okay? And so, honestly, I'm kind of getting, uh, here we go with the governance and the digital you know, banking system, central banks, okay, them wanting to bring in their own currency. So I do feel, honestly, the Sun card could apply to so many, but I'm going to put the two together for now. Um, and I am feeling that these two are topics that go together as well. But we'll see, sometimes as I get into the reading and I flow with it even more, I start seeing, I start seeing more storylines and, and it makes more sense how these dots are going to connect. But let's go with it and let's start with, um, yeah, let's start with China and Taiwan. What's going on over there? You know, last I heard, Biden slipped up or so they say, I, I think it was a slip up, honestly. And he made some mention in a press conference, I believe, that, that he would defend Taiwan which I think his handlers didn't too much like because I think that they're all in bed with China, but who knows anymore who's in bed with who. <laughs> it's global governance whoredom, as far as I can tell. Whoever's got the money, they got the time. You know what I'm saying? What I'm getting here with the Knave of Swords in reverse is an energy of um, perhaps, yeah, some gossip, some hearsay is what I'm, I'm getting mostly out of this, some hearsay. Um... I'm also getting something about promises broken. And there might be some fear porn also going on around these two. But again, I don't know how valid that is. Um, things being said, uh, maybe there is some exaggeration, an exaggerated threat. I'm going to take what's upright. And we've got the stars card. So... You know, this can often have to do with ambitions and getting public uh, recognition and very much out in public is what I'm getting from that that card. So be aware of what you're he hearing out. And again, the, the stars is also very Aquarian collective energy. I'm being brought back to Saturn and Aquarius. So uh, whatever you're, whatever the collective is hearing out in the public arena, be aware because I'm getting something here that what Whatever somebody's thinking it's is going to happen, it's not going to happen. Whatever's being threatened is maybe exaggerated. Oh, now I'm hearing Sun Tzu, okay? And if those of you who are not familiar, Sun Tzu is the author of Art of War. It's a classic. And he was basically a military leader. He's an expert at warfare. And he talks in this book about the tactics of effective warfare. And one of his tactics is... When you're weak, you play strong. And when you're strong, you play weak. So I am kind of seeing a message here of whatever they're thinking, it's not correct. Whatever you think is going to happen is not going to happen. Or whatever they are saying is they're going to do, it's not quite on point. Either they're not going to do it or uh, there's some kind of exaggeration going on. And I am getting rumors as well. And yes, there could be some fear porn going on around that. And I am getting a message of, you know, somebody breaking their promises this might have to do with human rights it might have to do with issues of individual freedom yeah i, I kind of want to go in deeper with the seven of wands well that is a lot about defense you know and of course military defense is coming first to mind very defensive energy, um, somebody guarding, guarding and protecting, very ambitious about protecting what is theirs. But again, nine of 
no, I'm sorry, seven of wands. I, I was starting to read it like it was nine of wands for some reason. So there might be a bit of that energy in the mix as well. But yeah, this is military defense. This is a very Mars energy of somebody pushing back. If they're not being aggressive, they are avoiding, avoiding. And I think it's because they are protecting individual rights. I really feel this is Taiwan protecting, you know, there's, right, we, we, we got to be careful what we say over here because China, China, I need to rewrite that, C-H-Y-N-A. <laughs> yeah, they own damn near everybody. Okay, so uh, you got to be careful what we say on here about those people. But, you know, they're, they're human rights violators, okay, on record, like, damn, I got to be, so you know what I'm going to talk about there, that, that group of people out there that's in, <clears throat> Camps, you know what I'm talking about? Down, down. Try not to get taken down, Stephanie. Just try. Pull yourself together, girl. Um, I do see strong defense here. Um, I really feel it's with Taiwan, okay, defending itself against these violations. And maybe the violation is wrong thing. You know that you're not towing the CCP party line, right? You're going to say this, by the way, for all you special people out there, I don't have a problem with Chinese people or Canadians or any yens, okay? Um, I think the issue that we all have collectively is with these people, these people who are hijacking national sovereignty, human rights issues, regardless of whatever your nationality is. They're hijacking the sovereignty. That's what I have a problem with. Yeah, protecting their homeland, okay? Protecting the people that are near and dear to them. Um, there's a lot of defending what is what belongs to them. Look at that. Look at the warfare. This is a de military defense, okay? I mean, let me see. What is this uh, Knave of Swords about? I'm filling this one at the bottom, okay? I'm getting something here about the elite, the bourgeoisie. I know that's a very old term, bourgeoisie, right? I think that's like from the French Revolution. Like, um, what I'm getting is that, like the families, the everyday people, the commoners are defending themselves against the elite. And I'm also getting a message here that the elite have broken promises or they will break promises. And the commoners are like, oh, no, don't bring that over here. Do not bring that over here. Um, gosh, I feel like I just opened up something quite deep um, because I know I know I have at least one client who is from Taiwan. And I know this is important to at least one of my viewers. So let me ask real quick if there's any kind of battling going on when between these two within a year and I'm getting a divine timing so what I get off of that in divine timing card is um, it is something faded okay it is going to happen um, but it's not set in stone precisely when over the next year it's gonna happen and what what is this about with what is this about over there I, again, what is interesting with the award card and the stars card, very much somebody wants recognition, they want payoff, they want advancement. I just heard greed. Look at that. Um, they want to build, okay? They want to accumulate is what I'm getting off of that, that nugget card. They want to accumulate. Honestly, I feel like it's this. I, you know, what's another nugget of gold in their gold mine? Seriously, like how much do you need? It's never enough. When you have a lust for money, it'll never be enough. There's always a nugget of gold to get. Um, let's move on to Canada. Canada. What's going on with Canada next week? Yeah, that true dote is trying to get, he's trying to get rid of the uh, handguns. He's trying to disarm. And any of you who think that that's the solution, my God, you have to understand that gun laws only apply to law-abiding people. And when you disarm law-abiding people, you remove from them the ability to self-defend, you end up with places like Chicago and New York. Yeah, that's a cherry card. It's not an accident. And you look in history at all the incidents of democide, which is mass murder by government. 
what always preceded those incidences is disarming the population. It's like clockwork. This is nothing new. Nothing new under the sun. Okay, there's a program. Know your history. This is how they do it. Disarm first, tyrant later. And I'm going to tell you it's the only thing keeping the United States in check. And let me tell you with what happened out here in Texas over the last week, very convenient. I can't even talk about that on this platform. They will for damn sure take me down on that. So let's just say that, um, you know, we have events that again in history have been staged to emotionally manipulate people into voting for things and agreeing with things that they would have never before because of this fear, okay, that has been manufactured, okay, through events. And then they get the population to say, yes, disarm us. And then we're right back on track with history, okay? Um, damn, I hope I, every, every time I do this, I'm like trying to make sure I don't get taken down. Although I know I'm being censored like a you-know-what. <laughs> All right, so we got a good amount of cards here. And uh, Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, Four of Swords. Well, what I am seeing with the situation out in Canada over the next week, there is some kind of uh, progress being made towards what, though? There is a situation progressing and evolving out there, but there's definitely a very Saturnian vibe with this card because it's about restrictions and limitations. And I do see some kind of the progress is involving disillusionment. It is involving a withdrawal of something, right? And with the Queen of Wands, this forward movement is happening quite boldly. Honestly, it's almost like there is an emotional disconnect. Whoever's making the progress here. They're not in tune with the things of the spirit. They're not in tune with the things of, again, like this is a, an emotional, quite an emotional issue when your government removes your ability to defend yourself against people who are not law abiding. And this is coming right after out in Canada, they removed people's ability to peacefully protest. They even shut down those people's bank accounts. Like if that is not totalitarian tyrannical government. I just don't know what it is. Um, so this is a pretty ballsy move. And somebody here who's got, you know, they're pretty cocky about it in the way that they're getting this forward movement. They're very much not in tune with the things of spirit. And this is also a very determined energy like, you better get out of my way. Eight is also a number of transformative change. Let me put that out there. It is intense, intense change. How they are trying to push, I'm getting ramrodded forward, push it forward. I am also say, seeing that this is going to affect the tourism industry. I, I also, I mean, we already know from what they did with the bank accounts earlier this year, that affected investments. Like, way to kill an economy. True don't. All right. A lot of business investors pulled out of there because they said, holy crap, wait a second. If you could just freeze people's bank accounts like that, we're not safe to do business here. And people started pulling money out or deciding that they're not going to engage in any further business deals in that country. And now with this, I'm seeing the tourism industry being impacted where people are like, you know, um, better not go over there. Is this going to be the next China? And, you know, he is on record saying that he very much admires the way they run the government over in China. You look it up. You know, I'm not exaggerating here. Scary, scary stuff for residents of Canada. And I'm also seeing with the Two of Wands, this forward movement is involving a lot of big plans moving forward and alliances are impacting the direction that they're moving in. Like I'm hearing this is just the beginning. I'm just, I'm hearing laying the groundwork, paving 
paving the way for bigger plans that are influenced by alliances. And we know the World Economic Forum, Charles Schwab, has bragged on camera saying that this guy basically is one of their own, one of his graduates. I mean, sort of not a big deal, considering a lot of people are even Biden out here in the U.S., right? I mean, apparently he owns a lot. He has installed a lot of these people all over the globe. But what's especially troubling about this in Canada is that Charles Schwab has bragged openly on camera that he has installed nearly half the, the cabinet of Trudeau's. So there's like the infiltration is pretty deep. Okay. I mean, we're, we're, I'm hearing infestation. It is an infestation. Better not turn the lights on right at three o'clock in the morning. Cause you're going to see them scattering and scurrying. The, these are very parasitic people. They're going to go wherever the money is. They're going to feast and feed off of it, off of the filth and the trash and the scum. The people who basically have no integrity, they will just go wherever the money supply takes them. So again, I'm getting some Mars energy here, Saturnian energy here. Um, and these are malefics. These are malefic planets. So the influence is really not pleasant. Okay. I, and I just saw, I just saw a video of True Don't speaking in a press conference in Canada, talking about this action he's taking on the guns. And I got a real bad feel. I'm just going to tell you super eerie. I mean, I thought it was bad during January with a process like this guy. Oh my God. But I'm sorry he got away with too much. And I'm realizing now this guy has gotten even cockier since then. It's sick. It's really sick. So let me say with the four of, speaking of sickness, four of swords, which can sometimes represent that, you know, the need to heal, right? Well, I am seeing that. Yeah, I do. On, I mean, I kind of was flowing there, but I think this, now that I'm looking at the cards, that it wasn't by accident that I was flowing into that topic of post-protest. Because I think that th that actually, yeah, this is a very Jupiter type of energy next to Mars where he's upping the ante post those protests. He's gotten cocky. He thinks, oh, look at what I can get away with. And he still hasn't been removed. And, you know, some of these uh, normies that are indoctrinated actually think it is okay for, you know, government to tell you what to wear on your body and what to inject in your body and uh, what you can say or not say really, really deep stuff. And, and the country needs to get healed from this. And I'm sorry, but I'm hearing it's going to have to get worse before it gets better because some people are incredibly, incredibly naive. And I'm also getting the indoctrination here as well. Like you have so many years and decades of programming to deprogram and reprogram. Like it's not going to be easy. Okay. To get the scales to lift off of these people's eyes. I do feel that if people try to come forth and deliberate with him, and I'm definitely sensing intuitively, like through the legal system, um, I am sensing that they're going to get the silent treatment from him. And we've kind of seen that before. You remember when, whenever the truckers first showed up out there, he kind of went off on vacation and then he caught COVID, but he didn't catch COVID. Remember that? He kind of went into hiding like a coward. Um, you know, more of this is going to come up. I told you, courthouse, I told you. This is going to be in the legal system. Oh, expect it. Wait for it. Get ready for it. And I'm telling you, if you or someone you know is in the legal field out in Canada, you better pull your resources together. Yes. Um, people, oh, yes. People who have deep pockets and have been, you know, deeply see. I'm seeing like a law library back there. I'm seeing an attorney with this mature man. Okay. Uh, be ready for the legal battles. But I'm telling you, the people who have the money and the connections and the knowledge of the law and all of that, get ready. Because, you know, it's it's going to take a lot of resources to fight this guy. Um, because, like I said, you are dealing with a lot, a lot of people um, who have already been installed, who already have deep pockets themselves. It's like deep pockets up against deep pockets, right? What I'm getting here is, oh, yeah, this situation has spiraled out of control. And I kind of saw it towards the end with those cards of he's up to ante. It's gotten even worse. Upward trend. And I, oh, yeah, I don't know. It's I'm getting some kind of because he managed to pull that off. Like he almost didn't. OK, he almost didn't. 
but because he did, he just got it by the hair of his chinny chin chin, you know, <laughs> as they say, um, he got promoted. He got deeper, deep, more deeply steeped with his connections. Look at this rising above money issues, business taking off profit. I'm telling you, I'm hearing kickbacks, um, behind the doors deals. Okay. And what I'm also, I'm getting a dual message here is that, you know, there's some issue with resources and the only way that you are going to, if, if you're in Canada, the only way to fight this effectively is you're going to have to, it's going to take a lot of money. It's like a lot of money to fight a lot of money. Cause I feel that most of this warfare that they're waging is, um, outspending people. They're buying people off. And you realize, when you realize how easy it is to buy people off, right? Look at all those cops out there just doing their jobs, you know? And then, you know, and then how many years of indoctrination in the public fool system of a bunch of employees working for that system that have been paid off. Same with the um, state-run media out there. Uh, journalists, so-called, who are not being legit journalists because they're being paid to be teleprompter readers. I could go on. I think you see my train of thought that all of these people are being bought off. And this is why, you know, particularly in this economy, it, it is a, it's an economic warfare. And you have so many people who are unprincipled. They are selling their, um, they're selling their families down the river and they may or may not know it. Some of them don't care. That's another problem for another day. Um, other people, um, they don't know what the big deal is because they're naive. And I could go on. Let's 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 talk about this naivete because honestly, um, that's a global issue, regardless of where you're from. Uh, what's going on with this employee situation? Well, it could be good news coming in. Actually, that's a great card. Um, communications of good money news come in for employees next week. Can you tell me more about that? And I'm feeling this. Nine of Wands. Okay, but I do feel that there is some guarded energy with the Nine of Wands there. And because I think a lot of these uh, employees have already been through a lot of, I'm hearing setbacks. And I think that a lot of people, even though there's a good, you know, good money news coming in, there's there's some kind of almost being, you know, emotionally guarded. There's a um, lunar energy that I'm seeing with that card where people are like, I, I don't know about this. Can I trust this? I mean, it it's a message. It looks good, but I don't know about this. And it might have to do with some kind of financial opportunity, um, people getting offers for work. I am seeing an alternate message here that this actually might have to do with what's going on with, let me, let me clarify that a little bit further. What is going on with, uh, tell me more about this page of pentacles. Okay. I'm getting that and that. People who have been stuck, um, Extra money, Machara. Some of you, um, you know, if you're looking for work right now, you may find them through traveling to more stable economies. If you are in an area where the economy is not stable, and we've been seeing a lot of those kind of migrations going on in the United States, we've been seeing it worldwide from different countries, right? A lot of a lot of people leaving Canada, going to Mexico. I've been hearing about. It. I've heard about Australians fleeing to Mexico. Like that's where you can um, get some extra money and things can become more financially sound. But I'm seeing that it is going to involve for many of you um, travel or overseas travel um, or something having to do with water. Look at that. Yeah, at a distance. Some of you, this would have to do also with... Um, so what I'm getting here is transport, jobs and transport, um, particularly overseas, tra um, transportation or transport. I'm also seeing, I don't know why I'm seeing retail, beauty, finish work, retirement, okay? 
we will take that with a grain of salt because I know, as I said before, those industries, retail industry is starting to suffer because of the inflation. I don't know, maybe something new is got some good news is going to come out, but I'm just getting some vibe off of this. Like people are like, I don't know about this. Um, I am getting something about courting the idea. Some of you are courting the idea of trying to move past money blocks, trying to make a financially sound, stable idea by leaving. I'm getting a water, water on both of those. Okay. Some of you are courting the idea of leaving. Well, we know that that's been going on a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm going to put that over there. I'm trying to make space here. What do we need to know about this indoctrinated? Let's see if it... Yeah, I kind of want this on. It's all right. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I do see an overlap here. So some people, I think, are having trouble because, like, particularly employees trying to find stable, secure, uh, you know, source of income. And with the Two of Pentacles, this is indicating a change of locations. And it also is also indicating that, you know, some kind of change on a material level is having some adjustment is needing to be made. Um, I am seeing cost increases going on as well. Inflation, this is a lot of Jupiter energy. But I think people are having trouble because of, you know, it is some people, again, they were conditioned, programmed to be employees in this life. They don't really have the skills or the confidence to be entrepreneurs, to do a side hustle. But with a three of wands, damn, I'm getting another something about waiting for the ships to come in. And I saw something about overseas over there. So I am really seeing that there could be uh, money opportunities having to do with the shipments, the supply chain issues going on where you could definitely get expansion. But many of you are going to have to think out of the box because it's not the way you were trained to see yourself as an employee or as an income earner. Um, you're going to have to, some of you, a career change going from or a location change in order to get the expansion. And some of you are trying to look ahead and prepare for these things. Some of you are waiting on getting the expansion. But it's taken a lot of adjustment and having to think differently about where and how you can earn an in income. Again, the good money news that might come out next week for employees is that jobs are opening up, but it might not be where you want or the industry. And you have to be, you have, you're going to have to, I'm hearing agility, you have to be agile. You know, you're either going to have to do a career change and get into a different line of work and or you're going to have to go to a different location and uproot and move to another environment where the jobs are. And that's going to change, take it breaking the mold. OK. Oh, wow. I just heard it's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. So, again, the good money news coming in might be that, you know, I'm hearing apprehensive, like, well, that's not what I expected or wanted, or how's that going to work out, or how do I make that happen? It's a chess move, okay? And it, again, if you're an employee and you're trying to figure out how do I stabilize my situation, I think the advice here is that you need to look at your long-term gain. Are you going to lose more by staying where you're at or not? You know, if you're going to gain more over the long term, you should probably take it. And I'm again, I'm getting a military vibe. OK, so think it through. All right. Like if I just told you at the beginning of this reading that astrologically, collectively, we are looking at many more years ahead of warfare globally. And we kind of saw it here opening up this reading. So if you're aware of that, well, who benefits from warfare? I mean, I hate to say it. You want to get to shipping places like Port of Houston or Wherever there are ports, okay, wherever there's major shipments coming in and out, again, this is very, very strategic. Where is the money going and flowing? You need to think strategically, almost like a military leader. Okay, that's what I'm getting off of this card. I'm not impressed with these. Like, this is heavy because whatever you've been doing for your line of work, probably no more, okay? And whatever you were taught to think was going to be sufficient to have a decent life, uh, probably no more. 
Um, and again, with the skull, I'm getting more of this warfare with both of these warfare in the coffin. This is heavy. I hate this. Actually, I just do not like this. That's about a job ending. Some of you going through rough patches, having to borrow money. I am also seeing another potential um, income, particularly for those of you who are in the medical back, you have a medical field background, um, that there would be probably a lot of money in hospice care, particularly, again, chest move this. Uh, where are the highest death rates coming in? Okay, like countrywide, go online and find out who is having, you know, and I mean, I can give you a pro tip, look at the highest <laughs> rates. You know, it looks like it starts with that letter, and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, over there. Alrighty, I mean, I just, this is deep. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this is some heaviness here. Um, I, I don't even need to go any further into that. I think I, you know, we, we opened some stuff up on that, okay? Let's talk about these CBDCs, central banking digital currencies. And, you know, I talked about this in the video that I put out last week, uh, part two of May's astrology, no, it June's astrology part two uh, with career and finance, where I'm talking about what's going on um, with the money markets and how it looks like there is a concerted effort to crash and consolidate altcoins into B Bitcoin, which is being, they're trying to merge with Ethereum. And Ethereum is basically... Um, pretty much taken over by the entire, you know, banking industry, traditional banking industry. So we are getting some kind of um, takeover, right? These, these people, which tend to be on XRP Ripple, at least from what I'm hearing, all right, I am not a financial expert, but based on what I'm hearing from advisors out there, they're trying to also get everybody on these CBDCs while at the same time collapsing and consolidating the competitor coins. Anything more that we need to know about this? Well, I'm going to tell you right out the gate, Nine of Chalices, I mean, uh, somebody's getting wish fulfillment, happy, 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 and I, I'm not surprised with Davos that went on, uh, what, a week, week and a half ago. I mean, it looks like they were just rolling in the dough. And again, you know, you bring the money out there and people show up and they're having a good old time with their partying and drinking and whatnot. I mean, who cares where this is going, right? As long as they can pay their bills today and hang out with their high profile friends. I mean, sorry, you know, let's get, let's keep it real. That's what it is. But honestly, it's looking like, um, you know, this situation with the CBDCs and the government and then particularly the green agenda, what I'm getting here. Um, which is, by the way, part of Agenda 21 of them making everything, um, you know, solar power, electric, whatever, you know, getting off the traditional gas. Um, this whole green agenda is tying into it from what I can tell. And it looks like, you know, agree with it or not, they're doing good and well. All right. Now, what is this five of chalices? That that's kind of throwing a monkey wrench here because I'm seeing on one hand, this is thriving. People are getting expansion here. This is very Jupiter energy. Um, they're, they're having a good old time. Yes, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting visions of the Occupy Wall Street protest back in the um, around 2008 when, you know, all the, the peasants were down on the streets um, protesting and the um, Wall Street people were up from their balconies laughing and toasting champagne and popping corks and all of that in their in the faces of the peasants. Do you remember the very, very historical scene? Okay, and then this is the vibe I'm getting off of it of, you know, we've got this dichotomy here of somebody's having a grand old time in the face of a lot of... Um, difficulties where you have families that are breaking up under the strain of the economy. Um, you also have um, losses that are occurring because of, you know, what's been going on over the last two years that nobody is able to talk about except Bill Gates. I mean, Dr. Gates. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, and this is a lot of grief and regret going on, particularly what I'm seeing for families. Okay. Didn't we see that earlier? We saw that. Yeah. I mean, I kind of saw that like affecting the families out. Is, where did I see the families getting affected? The commoners. Okay. Yeah. Families. Um, the common people. 
and you know, and, I, and I've heard that families, the nuclear family, the traditional family, that is the social fabric holding everything together. It is not these governments, right? You have a lot of people who think, well, it, you know, I don't need to have kids or get married. And again, I'm not throwing any shade at you if that's you. It's just that there's, I think, an assumption that, well, you know, social insecurity will take care of me. And, and then it really they find out it doesn't. And hell, at the rate I'm going, I don't even know if that's going to be available. They probably have it all bankrupted by then. But anyway, the point is, you know, they're depending on the government to take care of them in their older years. But historically, it's not been the government to do that. It's been families. When you have somebody get old in life and they can no longer work because of health or whatever age, you have the family unit that pulls together and takes care of those elders in in the absence of government. That's the way it's been for centuries. This is a, not a newfangled concept. And, you know, if you have families that are strong, then you really don't need the government a whole lot for that. I'm sure there are always exceptions, right? But when you break the family unit down, the, the nuclear family down, then you get all this grief and you get these separations. And, oh, wait, now we need the government to come and rescue us and bless us. And then guess who profits from it? Those, those people who are popping champagne and, and drinks in front of, you know, the peasants. With the Ace of Wands, yeah, this is definitely about a uh, victory here and who's getting it. Is it going to be the commoners or is it going to be the people, um, you know, the upper crust the, of, of society, the higher echelon of people? Who is going to get it? Well, honestly, I feel I'm because I see this guy looking dead straight at that sword. Oh, they got their back to it. <laughs> oh, some a couple people here are looking back at the table. Most people at the table are too busy getting drunk, having a good time. Um lasciviousness is what I'm hearing. Damn, that word, I have not heard that in forever. Lasciviousness. Um, they're enjoying themselves too much to care about the truth. But the people who, the families that are being broken apart, um, they're now having to look at the truth. They're having to get clear about what do I need to do to get the victory. And I feel that what they're trying to get clear about is what's going on with these officials. How do they get a new beginning? And how do they get on with their lives? Okay, but I think that what they want is like a distant, far off. Um, it's like how, what it, it, I'm feeling this out of reach. It's out of reach type of energy. A lot of swords, swords, swords. This goes back to communications, thought. Um, yes, it, it might be conflict, but it can also be about the truth. And the conflict is about money and resources. And somebody is trying to get a breakthrough, right? The breakthrough is, I want a new beginning. I might have to do again with families and their children. But there's also with the swords an issue of legalities. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of these family members have been dealing with loss of income. Some of them, yes, being fired. I'm hearing also at cross purposes. I'm also getting another message here that is not about families, okay? And, and that is dependency with this child. This is not about children and families and new beginnings. This is about dependency issues of, I need a helping hand. I need somebody to help me, you know, get some financial assistance here. Hey, I need help getting work because there's been a loss of income. I need to figure out how to get, you know, that manifests my income, but it seems something out of reach. Something is out of reach. Uh, manual labor, I'm getting something else about manual labor might be required for these people to uh, reach their goals. And I'm getting another thing about contracts, legalities is what is putting people under a lot of restriction. Honestly, and it's all having to do with these officials who are making up laws, rules, mandates, restrictions that are cutting people off from a source of income. I'm getting also something a new beginning during the summertime, clarity about what is going on with these officials, what they are doing, what I need to do in order to get the upper hand in this situation. Some people are becoming more aware of the law because of the way that the law has been used to like fence them in or infringe upon them. 
I want to go a little deeper into the CBDs because honestly, I'm not, I did not get a lot of cards on the CBDs, okay? Queen of Pentacles. Well, this is taking a very down-to-earth approach, very practical. Um, I'm getting that they're trying to secure, and over the next week, we, we could be hearing about them trying to secure forward movement with the CBDCs. Big surprise. I warned that they're going to be doing that all the way up into the midterm selections. Oh, gosh. I hate that card. Okay. Uh, again, I see things going well for the Borg, as I like to call them, you know. Uh, they are assimilating, and they would like to assimilate you, if you know what I mean. For those of you who have a Trekkie background, and you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Star Trek reference. Um, yeah, they look to be doing very well with the CBDs. They are, I'm hearing, on track with their plans. All systems go. And, but again, I'm getting something about a nuclear family. Oh, wow. And, you know, I mentioned that before. I feel that a, uh, I'm hearing the dependency yet again. So there is some overlap here with these messages. I do feel like, all right. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a lot of women here and children. And I think the first people to be integrated into this system will be uh, single mothers, people on welfare. I don't know if you're going to hear about it next week in the news, but I see them. That's going to be, I'm hearing it's the first people they're going to get on boarded to the CBDCs are the people who are depending upon the government, um, women and children. I'm getting a lot of that. I am also seeing that it is being presented as something that is secure, it is being presented as something that is going to help families, and that it is also going to help people care for the ones they love. Oh, wow, isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. And then here we have Seven of Swords at the end. Uh, <laughs> liar, cheater, thief card, right? This is strategy, strategy, which didn't we have that up here yet yeah, with the chess? Um, I think we had it elsewhere, um, but we know they're strategizing. That's all they do. Um, they strategize like a beep, right? Uh, <laughs> I just self-censor, right? Self-censor. Um, okay, but yeah, be aware because this is somebody, you know, taking covert action, somebody working behind the scenes. What you see is not what you get. I'm also getting a lot of gaslighting that if you question, you know, this system, well, you know, you're going to be told you're crazy. The government would never try to control you. We just want to help you and protect the children and, you know, save grandma and all that good stuff. So be aware because there is an element of hidden dishonor here. There's also an energy of stealing, embezzlement could be at play, um, some sleazy political deals going on behind the scenes, under the table. Uh, people, again, I'm getting, it's not, like, there's a lot of lunar energy with this card. Where, what you see is not what you get, okay? I don't know why. It's time to profit. Watch, watch what they're doing. They're going to seize the moment, okay? Um, and again, I'm also getting some people who are collecting unemployment. Those will be also uh, the first people in line to be onboarded into this, uh, this program of receiving uh, central banking digital currencies through... The government, I'm hearing that is how they're going to seed the CBDCs. That's how they're going to get them to get, get uh, people to use them and to accept them and to uh, become comfortable with them. And it's going to be through these people who are dependent upon the government and these, quote, humanitarian causes. But be aware, there's a snake in the grass. Okay. Yeah, financial commitments, long-term investment, partnerships, working together, fulfilling careers. So, again, if you are, I don't know, with, um, what do they call it, workforce commission, um, you know, it, basically, if, and I'm getting a dependency issue here as well, gift, okay, um, financial support. I, yet again, I'm getting this vibe of, um, for some of it, for some of you, it might be also any type of stimulus that they that they are giving in the future. I could see it possibly coming through that. And I'm also seeing that yes, this is going to be framed as we're bringing you security. We're just trying to help you. This is going to help stabilize 
and now I'm hearing UBI, UBI, Universal Basic Income. Um, people who, oh yeah, these are people, for people who are living below the poverty line. I'm seeing a time frame of the next two years. I'm seeing that this also has to do, again, with housing, uh, people getting affordable housing. Uh, yet again, another story of homes, families, children, mothering energy. By the way, this is all playing into the astrology that I talked about in my June part two uh, astrology report that is too hot for YouTube. I put it over on BitChute and Odyssey. I'll pin the links down below in case you missed it. Um, you can go watch it over there. Um, but I talk about these issues of, you know, during cancer season of households, homes, mothering, feminine energy. Um, this is all going to be a hot topic over, you know, the next month. And so let's get some advice for my viewers here. Face your financial fears. Power of prayer. Uh, give the situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you in response to your prayers. I am also getting another download. I just, I, I got to say it before. I know it's like I'm going back, but I, I'm being brought back to this. Like I have to warn you guys that the money that's going to be given on these CBDCs, whether it's UBI, unemployment, welfare, subsidized housing, uh, however it comes across over the next two years, it is going to come with strings attached, okay? They're probably going to be able to tell you where and how you're going to spend that money and when. It's money that comes with an expiration date. you got to spend it over where they tell you within a certain time frame or the money disappears. And, you know, you might be on the hook to do certain things like get the, you know what, be aware they might try to own you with this money as they do with a lot of people. Nothing's for free, right? Look at the strings attached because I'm seeing that there will be something there, uh, some catch, some hook, all right? Uh, but this says face your financial fears when you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure. They can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Somebody out there needs to be told you can do it. Okay, and now I'm being brought back to this. You may not be you may not have been equipped in this life for, you know, this different career or this different lifestyle or, you know, becoming a business owner, an entrepreneur or something like that. But that doesn't mean that you have to live in fear and play small and that you can't do something different, right? You may not have been programmed uh, to be familiar with living in a different area, right? That's, that takes a lot of boldness to uproot a family and go move to some place that you don't know anybody, right? Um, but there's something about having to break out of this conditioning and this programming and think differently so that you can get dominion over this. And I hope that this reading has helped you to do just that. You'll have a good week, and I'm looking forward to connecting with you again next weekend. Be blessed.